yes so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will compare the protein which has been created by swiss model with the protein that has been predicted by alpha fold okay so for both of these we will use the same protein sequence and for that we are going to this place which is a uniprot database and uh, i will quickly hover around to the uh, data entry where we can find the links to both of the proteins one from the uh, swiss model and another from the alpha fold okay so for that i will write a name of a protein which is squalene epoxidase and i will hit enter so now as soon as i have searched for squalene epoxidase a list of proteins or the entries have appeared in front of me so but for now for our uh, target of this video what we will do is we will go to this uh, organism saccharomyces cerevisiae which is a yeast and I will click over it and we will open the first entry which is over here uh, which is of a squalene epoxidase from east so as soon as we open this web page and if we just scroll down okay or if you see on the left hand side you just go to this structure tab and you click over it and if you just scroll down there are three options in front of you it says 3d structure databases so where we can find the 3d structures of the same protein so uh, first of all let us see the sequence so this is the sequence of the protein that we are trying to predict okay or the protein which has already been predicted and deposited into the swiss model or alpha fold so let me go back to the structure tab and over here what i will do is i will open the entry of alpha fold and i will also open the entry of uh, swiss model database so, uh, so over here if you can see i have opened the same protein predicted from the same sequence one by the alpha fold and another by the swiss model so we will download both the proteins and then we will compare them how they are structurally identical or how they differ into the structure so for that first let us download the alpha fold protein okay so it says squalene monooxygenase uh, and if we just see the sequence is been shown over here and if I just scroll down there will be an option to uh, download this file which is this pdb file so I will simply click over here and on onto the desktop I will create a new folder which says uh, I will first of all create a new folder over here and I will create uh, alpha fold versus swiss model okay so i have created this folder and into this folder i will save this protein simply as alpha fold as the okay so alpha fold dot pdf so i'll just save it and on to the next tab uh, for the same protein the sequence is predict sorry the structure is predicted by the swiss model okay so for this to download this this structure what i will do is i will go to this page and i will go to this tab which says access so i will just click over it this structure is basically been predicted by the uh, pdb uh, sorry pdb uh, protein which is 6c6n so this is the template which is used to model this protein uh, but we are interested in the model so what we will do is we will go to this this small button which says access so you just click over it okay and you will find some kind of details regarding this protein uh, so this is the ramachandran plot and the other details you will find it over here regarding the quality of this protein so quickly what we will do is we will go to this button which says project data and onto this project data we will go to this option which says coordinate pdb format you simply click over it so now it is saving the protein uh, from swiss model database so i will just write smr okay and i will just close this to this entire uh, browser okay so now in this folder which is on our desktop we have downloaded both the proteins one from the alpha fold another from the swiss model database both these proteins are identical both these proteins are constructed by the use of computer using the same identical sequence as well okay so we will try to compare these two proteins so what we will do is that uh, we will open chimera and 
into the window of chimera we will first of all open the protein which is onto our desktop we will open our folder and first of all we will open a protein which is a swiss model protein and we will simply open it and as you see over here the swiss model has predicted a protein which is a homodimer so we will sim simply remove one of the chains so i will just click b because both the chains are identical so what you do is you select one of the chain and then go to actions atoms and bond and delete so one of the chains is deleted okay so uh, just remember the original color the golden color protein is from swiss model now on to the same page we will open the another protein which is from the alpha fold so we will open this file which says af.pdb that means the protein which is downloaded from the alpha fold database so we will open it so the alpha fold protein is the blue one and the golden one protein that you see is the protein which has been predicted by swiss model okay so now what we will do is we will use a simple tool which says uh, superpose so we will superimpose both the proteins okay so what we will do is we will go to this option which says tools and then we will go to this option which says uh, uh, structure comparison and we will click on this which says matchmaker so uh, this window will open in front of you so what we will do is that we will keep the smr as a reference or af as the structure to match you can do the other round uh, other way around as well okay so what we will do is we will simply click on okay okay and if we just see and if we just compare the structures there are subtle differences into the structure of the protein so if you just see this loop this one if i just zoom it a little okay so if you just see this loop and the loop which has been predicted this outer loop that has been predicted by the alpha fold is quite different from the one which has been predicted by the swiss model now um, alpha fold also makes a small alpha helix a very short alpha helix which is this blue one that you that you can see and even over here for this alpha fold has predicted the protein where there is one more small alpha turn or a alpha helix with a just a single turn which is like this and if you see the major portion of the protein uh, they they look to be highly identical uh, if you just see over here the beta sheets are exactly superimposing onto one another but if you see the terminal part again over here there is a subtle differences in th into the structure of the protein and this is how the uh, alignment of both the proteins is so both of these are compute uh, computationally uh, modeled proteins so there there uh, can be some differences into them so this is just a small tutorial video where i can where i can show you uh, how the two different algorithms one from the swiss model and another from the alpha fold is predicting the protein uh, where we see a lot of similarity and in certain places of the protein we also see certain um, dissimilarities uh, into their prediction okay so i hope this video is helpful to you and it is a fun for you as well uh, so uh, thank you for being with me in this video